Christian life, a life with purpose, that it begins with an understanding that God is your Father, okay? He's your Father, but see the contrast here. Our Father who is in heaven, our Father whose name is hallowed, which is just another way of saying that he is holy, and we were talking about that last night, we were saying that his holiness is like a, a cosmic force for good within the universe, and if you stood in its way without clinging on to Jesus, it would destroy you within an instant, because it's such a bright, white, blinding light that it just casts out all of the darkness, which is why Moses could not look at the Father face to face, as it, or, or whoever it was, Jesus probably, as he walked past Moses, why he couldn't look at him face to face, but he had to hide within the cleft of the rock. Because he couldn't be exposed to the glory of God. Because it would destroy you in an instant. Because he's unbelievably powerful. Uh, and we imagined last night, didn't we? The cosmos unfolding in front of you. And, and, and that picture of space. Stars upon stars upon stars. The extent of God's power <coughs> is huge. He's hallowed and he's holy. And yet that same God says, call me Father. Call me Father. Uh, and, and I know that some of you here this morning, you will have had absent fathers some of you would have had abusive fathers. Some of you would have had fathers that were just a bit lame. But the idea of God being your father is that he, he, he counts the hairs upon your head. He knows you intimately. He's seen every single detail of your life. He listens to you. He helps you. He wants to speak with you. Jesus said, what kind of father is it if when his son asks him for bread, he gives him a stone? God is not that kind of father. He's the kind of father who not only has the power and the authority and, and all of creation is for him and bends towards him. He's not only that, but he, he also cares about you and he wants to give you what you need and what you ask for. Doesn't that blow your mind a little bit to think that the God of the universe wants to know you as your father and not only that but his love for you is unconditional because it's a fatherly relationship and so he unconditionally loves you like i don't know if you really you, you, i'm sure you understand that on a kind of theological kind of basis but do you really understand that within your own within your within your own lives like so many of you you think that you know god won't ever be the kind of god that answers my prayers or or today won't be the kind of day that goes really well or, or i can't speak to this friend about jesus because i didn't read my bible this morning and so god isn't gonna bless me today and, and so you don't have that kind of confidence and faith and sense of expectation that god is going to use you because you kind of think god doesn't really like me that much and you think of kind of i don't know those books brother andrew and corrie and boo and the Wesleys at, at Whitfield, you think, you know, God really liked them, but he doesn't like me in the same way, and so I cannot do the same things, and I can never be the Christian that really makes an impact within the CU, within the university. I'm not the kind of Christian that's ever going to lead a friend to faith. I'm never going to pray for someone and see them change, because I just, uh, I'm not that kind of Christian, okay? I, I, I don't know the Bible well enough, and, and, and I think, you know, if there was a pecking order of the people that God preferred within the CU, I would be in the bottom five because that, that's just what my life is like and I'm, I'm so ashamed of my addiction to pornography. I'm so ashamed because I'm sleeping with my girlfriend or boyfriend. I'm so ashamed because do you know what I did in my past? All of that stuff that is there, but you have to understand this, okay? You need to get the sin sorted out in your life. It's not lowering your standards. That's not what I'm saying, but you have to understand it does not matter what you did, what you're doing, and what you're going to do. God is your father and he loves you unconditionally and he sees every part of you. He sees everything that you did yesterday and the day before and your search history and what you do in secret and he still loves you he still loves you he still wants to bless you he still wants to use you in fact the bible tells us that his power is made perfect in your weakness sometimes i look at people who seem to have it all together and know what they're doing in life and i feel sorry for them because that's not the kind of person that displays God's glory. It's those of you that are broken and struggling with sin. And you feel like, yeah, I'm in the bottom five. You are the person that the Lord can use because he loves you unconditionally. So the first part of discovering the...